Hello, everybody. Um, before we get started, I need to talk about this dessert that came in the Purpose Driven Essentials kit. Um, and here's the information for how to get a hold of them. Um, they staff almost all, um, said almost all their employees have some kind of brain injury or autism disorder. And I have a son who's on the spectrum. And so I just thought that was really cool. And I thought I'd give it a taste test for you guys. And it got a definite thumbs up. So you could go back and write down the information on their website. They send out freshly made desserts. Like you order them, they make it, they send it to you like that day. It's, it's crazy. And so they're super fresh, really good. It's a nonprofit company that employs people that have a hard time finding work. It's so good. So let's stop talking about chocolate and start talking about um, <laughs> the Bible. So I was reading through the devotional that came with the PDE kit this month too. And there was a sentence that just stopped me in my tracks. And she was talking about being in the deep waters and we're in Isaiah 43. And then um, and she talks about, you know, when we're in kind of the deep end of situations, when we're in over our heads, kind of so to speak, or we feel like we're drowning in life. Um, she asks the question, is all deep water dangerous? And that just stopped me in my tracks because we, you know, we often hear, you know, when you're in the deep water, he's there with you, all that kind of stuff. Um, but um, oh, I'm just showing you these are my handcrafted um, watercolors. So I, I put a magnet on the back of that one and added it to my handmade Etsy um, watercolors. So this is the watercolor that came in the kit and it's a blue metallic. It's so pretty. Um, so her question of, but are all deep waters dangerous? Stopped me in my tracks because I was a lifeguard and we used to have to, at the beginning of every summer, test all these kids to see if they could go to the deep end of the pool. And that's because we wanted to know they were safe. Now, if all deep water was dangerous, we wouldn't have let any kids go to the deep end, right? It would have just stayed empty. But the kids who could swim well enough with our supervision as lifeguards could go in the deep end. Well, maybe that's an awesome metaphor for how we're supposed to handle challenges. Like that there will be things that come that we have been given skills to handle. But at the same time, sometimes we get in the deep end and we panic. So there were always those kids that could pass the test. And then for some reason or another, they'd get in the deep end and panic and we'd have to go grab them out. But that wasn't like a shaming situation. It was just, you could tell the child just got in over their head or they uh, got panicky or maybe they were underwater longer than they thought they'd be after they went off the diving board or something like that. Scared them, we had to help them out and they were okay. Well, sometimes our deep waters um, kind of make us feel like we're drowning. But in Isaiah uh, 43 verse two, it says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the river rivers, they will not sweep over you. So if we're looking at that, we've got a God who's the ultimate lifeguard on our side, who is sitting on the sidelines and he's allowed us to go into the deep end at times. Um, and he's equipped us to go into the deep end of the pool. But there are going to be times where the deep end is going to feel too deep for us, right? Where we're going to like, all of a sudden we're not touching the bottom anymore. There's always that pan panic on the face of little kids in the pool too. When they think they're like, they start swimming and then they realize, oh, I went too far. I can't touch anymore. So they get to that point where they can't touch anymore and they get this panic. But we know that the bottom might just be inches away. So we know that we can just encourage them as the lifeguards. No, you're okay. Just swim back a little bit. Or maybe they're right near the side. So we can say, go ahead and hit the side of the pool. Go ahead and grab it. You're okay. Because we wanted to empower the kids. We didn't want them to be scared of the water. And so if we knew that they were safe, they just didn't know they were, we could encourage them to realize they had the power to get themselves to safety and that they didn't need to be scared of that section of the swimming pool. So I'm just seeing all these metaphors for how God helps us through these different things. 
in life. Sometimes we are in over our heads, absolutely 100%, and we need a savior to come help us, and we need a miracle like walking on water, right? Um, this stamp says, um, stand on solid ground. And so um, even though we're in the deep water, God can make the ground solid. He can make um, our footing secure. And he can, uh, I think this is kind of where the peace that passes all understanding comes in because in some circumstances we just don't, um, we just shouldn't have peace. We shouldn't feel like we're standing on solid ground and people are like, why are you, why aren't you panicking here? You're in the deep end and you can't swim. Why'd the lifeguards let you over there? And sometimes we ask God that too, right? Why did you let me in the deep end? I can't swim over here. Um, but in his wisdom, and in his protection, he's there with us in that deep water. And sometimes all we need is a reassurance of, oh, the bottom isn't too far away. You, c- I can get through this. And sometimes, like I said, we just need that savior to pull us out like he did with Peter. <laughs> when Peter realized he was actually walking on water and that didn't make sense and he panicked. So this just was um, an interesting question that... Uh, that I was thinking about as I was um, doing this page because it made me think, you know, we get into situations or we have things that happen to us that feel overwhelming, but does that automatically make them unsafe? That word is really powerful. And so sometimes I think it's possible that we can be in situations that are extremely hard where we need God, but that we're not unsafe because we have God who's always looking out for us, who never closes his eyes, who never turns his back on us, the God who never sleeps. He's always, always there. So the next time that you or I are in a situation where we feel in over our head, or we're worried because we can't touch the bottom and we're in the deep end, or things start feeling scary. Think about these deep waters and this question of, are all deep waters unsafe? Certainly some situations are unsafe, but maybe a lot just feel unsafe. But the reality is that God's right there. I wonder how this would impact your day or your next challenge or my next challenge where I feel like, I don't know how to do this, God. I don't know how to do this new thing. Maybe that's a time where we could take a moment to pray and say, God, am I in the deep waters that are dangerous or am I in deep waters and I'm actually safe and okay? I think that's a really, really good question to ask. And I'm so grateful it was in this devotional. So let's talk about what I've been doing here. I've been using just different products and um, from the Purpose Driven Essentials kit and some of the stamps from the stamp set I created for the kit. And you'll see I used the little water droplets um, as quotation marks to mark the verse. I know they're not really quotation marks, but they ended up, I thought they looked kind of cute to mark out the verse like that. And now I'm going in with this little knot. And my idea with this knot was that it would look a little bit like a heart or just a simple knot, whatever you wanted, that it could be a way to highlight verses or something like that. So I was just scattering it in here like I would kind of polka dots or art marks as um, Shauna Noel says, um, and uh, scatter them through the page just because, you guys, I can't stop. I'm a more is more kind of person when it comes to crafty stuff, all the way to where it's probably detrimental and not very pretty anymore. But that's okay. It's kind of like, you know, God says, make a joyful noise into the Lord. Um, I make a joyful page into the Lord. (laughs) And that's what counts, right? So I'm going to paint in um, all but one of these just to look like rope. But it hit me um, as I was painting the brown to paint one of them bright pink. And to me, that represented a couple of things. That was like me in the deep waters. I'm the bright pink knot. <laughs> I'm a knot head. Maybe that's it. No, that's not very nice. Um, <laughs> I am stubborn though. Ugh. Um, so I'm the bright pink knot in the middle of those deep waters. And um, 
but like that neon pink, it stands out like God sees me and he hasn't abandoned me in the deep waters. I'm not like lost at sea ever. Like even people who are literally lost at sea are never lost at sea in the eyes of God. He can see them. He knows where they are. So if he can know where the lost are, and I'm not even lost, I just feel lost. He certainly knows where I am. And that comes from a place of love and protection. He's always looking out for me. So I wanted it to kind of look like a heart, um, to remind me of kind of a heart, to remind me that God loves me, to remind me that when I'm in the deep end, I'm not, I'm not blue. Like I don't match the water. I don't get lost. Like he sees me. I'm that bright pink knot right there in the middle of the water. Let's add some more pink because you can never have too much neon pink in my life. Um, <laughs> but I just thought that was, it just felt kind of done and like, yeah, that's, that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, and so I don't know, like when I do the Bible journaling, it's more like my art journaling process most of the time rather than making beautiful art. And for me, that's all about just expressing what this verse is trying to tell me and how that's being applied in my life. And I make art in my Bible as a way to help me remember the lesson. So seeing that bright pink knot floating around in the ocean waters reminds me that even though I may feel lost at sea at times, um, and there are situations that have happened and will happen that um, might feel scary, maybe not all deep waters are unsafe because we have the Lord with us. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been super fun to make. Um, I'm just going up and finishing here with some matte gel medium because I used a glue stick to glue these papers down, but the edges were kind of coming up. So this will just seal it like Mod Podge does or whatever. I just prefer the matte gel medium stuff. Um, and you can see I'm getting to the bottom of the barrel. Um, I love it that much. Um, <laughs> I just like the texture it makes uh, when you put it on top of papers. And I like the way the collage kind of feels and looks when you use matte gel medium. And this this is a, uh, a variety by Golden. It's my favorite. Liquitex is fine. Um, it's a fine one, but this Golden and... I wouldn't recommend buying this 32 ounce tub if you don't fall in love with the stuff. But if you do want a big tub of liquid or of um, golden matte gel medium, <laughs> the best place to get it, the best price is, um, if you're going to use it a lot, is this 32 ounce tub on Amazon. Um, you pay, I think, like 20 or $30 for that tub. But in the craft store, sometimes the tiny little bottles are $15. So um, this depends on how much you want to use it. If you don't want to use it that often, then use a Michael's coupon or a Hobby Lobby coupon and get it 40% off um, and uh, go that route because um, that'll be a better price for you guys. So anyway, I, okay, since I am super excited about this stamp set, if you make something, please, please, oh, there goes the cake again. I'm not, I'm not going to finish it. I'm just saying, if you make something, please um, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see how you're using the stamps or how you would use them if you had them. I'd love to hear your ideas. So I will see you again later. Bye.